about to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new here, then welcome. I'm Young Wilder Free and on this channel I love sharing my Sims 4 creations that I make into different types of speed builds. If this is something you like to watch, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click the notification bell so you will get notified whenever I post something new. Now as for today's speed build, I made another starter home, but this time for up to 8 Sims. I even tried keeping it pack restricted by only using base game, seasons, parenthood, kids room stuff, toddler stuff and of course the free stuff. But at the end uh, the budget went so fast that I only used base game plus seasons and parenthood and one item from toddler stuff. So if you don't own toddler stuff you will only miss out on one decorative item I placed in the backyard so nothing major. I did also struggle a lot with the budget, so you definitely need all 8 sims or first save up to a higher budget in another home before you can move here. It came very close to 34,000 30, simoleons, so yeah, you are either gonna need 8 sims or have tried the car system and maybe got enough money there. I did also want to have this house a bit bigger and not too tiny, so just so your sims can easily evolve in here and have enough room to do so. But this also meant that the price without the furniture went up very quickly for all the walls that I have placed since those are very expensive. I did try to keep almost all the landscaping free by using the free debug, debug items instead. But still, while trying to make the living area look properly and not too poor, the budget went quickly up. However, if you want to save some more money, uh, I have some different things you can remove that I will mention along the way. But as for the outside, I did place a couple of items that cost a bit of money. The shutters are one thing. I place curtains as shutters, just as I did in the last video that I posted. But these cost like 50 or 55 simoleons per piece and I did pay, place quite a bunch of them so if you remove some of those you can already save a couple of hundred simoleons. And of course the swing set, I think that one cost a bit as well. Besides that I don't think I've placed anything expensive outside. Maybe the waste disposal, maybe you can make that one a bit cheaper but then again it's kind of a necessity so yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> maybe I should also explain a bit more about the backyard too. You might have already seen it uh, in the intro that I placed this ginormous dinosaur. So while trying to keep most of landscaping free, I was really trying to figure out how I could make a nice looking backyard with the free debug items, or at least use as much of the free items. And I kind of almost fell back on the useless stuff that I do with my backyards and I almost made a sandbox with a toddler slide and a monkey bars until I remembered that probably all the houses in this area of Willow Creek for me now have this combo. So I wanted to try something new. And I quickly found that shade thing that um, it looks like an item from toddler stuff or we did get something similar. It's usually placed on playgrounds in the base game and other worlds I think and I thought this was kind of fun to place in the sand area so you could actually shade your kids a bit and underneath there was exactly enough room for to fit the swings even after I sized it one down and in another corner of the yard I also know I wanted to have some seating area so <laughs> it doesn't really work because I used the free debug items to make it look good but at least if your sim starts saving up some money, you could always replace it with a real table and chairs if you want to. But for now, it, I just try to make it look good as well, so it doesn't feel too poorly as a starter home. Now that I have the opportunity to do so with the free debug items. It's too bad you can't use them, but I'm pretty sure your sims can sit on these chairs. So after 
placing those items, I still had this big chunk of yard left that I had to ponder about what I wanted to do. I was, first of all, kind of considering to make maybe a garden where you could you seems could plant some stuff, but I found the flower boxes too expensive and the ones that are all steepak items are I think from outer retreat, so I couldn't place those because I didn't want to use that pack. And since there are living so many kids in this house, or I plan to have so many kids in this house, I really wanted to make that side of the corner or that corner of the yard still for kids as well. So that's kind of why I chose to do it all in sand. And since I didn't really want to use more money on toys or like monkey bars or, or anything like that, I went looking through the deeper catalog and that's when I found this huge dinosaur. I think it's usually placed in Oasis Spring, somewhere in the background, somewhere in the right side corner of the map, I think. And I found out that if you size it down, it looks really good and <laughs> it looks like it belongs on the playground. So I placed it down as a decorative item with some decorative of, with some more decorations from taller stuff, the statues that look like pandas to begin with, but I made them into small monsters and I of course placed a small pile of sports equipment to make it look a bit more used. Now different ways that you could use this play, play area with be first of all by using the swings of course, that might be logical but still. You could also let the kids take out some toys or if you have saved up some money place a toy box outside whatever you prefer and then your kids could just sit in the set sand and play with toys but you could also drag out the toddler block so your toddler can play outside that's usually what i place in my sand boxes and lastly if you have island living installed you should also be able to build sand castles in the sand as well as far as i know never tried it but i've heard it should be possible so even though the dinosaur is only decorative, uh, there's still enough to do in this area. And you could always remove it and if you have seasons installed of course, because you're almost gonna need that for this build. Then you could do snowball fights and water fights or water balloon fights there as well. Now as for the inside, it is very basic of course. Uh, because the budget went fast down after burning all the essentials. I did try and keep the shared area, so the living room and kitchen, look, looking like it's quite cozy. Uh, it's still very lightly decorated but by what I usually do. But your sims could easily spend time here together. I, I meant it, or I meant to make it look like it's already ready for a big family. That's also why I bought a bit of an expensive dining table, just because I wanted to look it good, but also still fit almost the entire family. I did try to place the toilet chair also off camera, but that one is just too expensive and I still don't like using it, so I dropped that one for now. But at the end of the table, I believe there's still room to fit the toddler chair and of course the baby is still a baby, so it doesn't fit around the table, so yeah. But you could always play it around with it, of course. As for the bathrooms, I believe there were four of them. Yeah, three upstairs, one downstairs. They two are of course very light lightly decorated. Two of them have a shower, two of them have a bath and all of them have a sink. And the cheapest sink and cheapest toilet unfortunately, but I just couldn't get it in the budget any, with any uh, more expensive. I wanted to use the parenthood sinks, but Apparently none of the mirrors fit above it and I didn't have enough money to go to the more expensive mirrors So I just dropped that idea. It looked really good with the parenthood sinks, but still I don't get why none of the mirrors fit above it and I can't stand it clipping through so no Now of course if you want to save some money here, then that's fully possible as well you could remove some of the mirrors because you have now four bathrooms with four mirrors might be unnecessary and of course i place toilet rolls in every one of them i can't remember how much it costs but i'm pretty sure you have to pay for it so yeah they are of course very useless in the game but seriously i could not make a bathroom without toilet paper in them that just felt too wrong and i already downgraded the bathroom by not placing any towels which also <laughs> annoys me but seriously no toilet paper was not something i could do but if you can live with it you can remove them of course 
As for the bedrooms, again, very uh, simple. Decorated or not decorated at all, they are just very simple. The toddler room is downstairs and has the toddler bed and the bassinet. You could again save some money here by removing the bassinet and taking your sims to the hospital and then get home with a free one, I believe. A uh, free bassinet. Or if you already have it, then remove the bassinet before you move in your sims, then you should be fine as well. Uh, what I also placed in the toddler room is uh, the toddler blocks, of course, and I did actually place the potty in here as well. Then you have enough room to, I don't know, help your toddler or train your pot toddler. Because the downstairs bathroom is also kind of the guest bathroom, so yeah. I didn't really feel to cramp it up too much. Uh, and I also actually placed off camera a chair instead. I think I placed the fluffy bear at the end of this video. I decided to not do that and place back the cheap bear and place a chair as well, since it also is a nursery room and it looked more cozy. As for the other kids room, they are also very basic, so you can personalize them yourself when your sims start earning money or finding collectibles or whatever. I at least imagined them to be for two teens and two kids, both one boy, one girl, but all the ages do fit, I think. You could even have four kids if you would like to, I don't know. Mm, beside toddlers, of course, because those can't fit in those beds. And so if you want to have more toddlers in the build, then you might need to change up the beds, which were surprisingly the most expensive items to buy, I think, for this build, since I needed so many beds. But okay, they are placed. And now all the kids' room have one bed, one dresser, a nightstand, and of course some lights. So I placed the monster light in just two out of two of the bedrooms, because the other ones were more meant for teens, and those kids rooms one of them the girl one has a toy chest and the boy one has the fluffy bear or whatever he's called i always forget and then lastly you have of course the be parents bedroom with, which again is very basic with just a bed two nightstands a dresser and some paintings i did try to place some cheap flowers around the place because they wanted to have some greenery so i think the parents have one too and I only place curtains in all the important areas, so unfortunately bathrooms don't have them, but <laughs> I couldn't afford any more of them. But yeah, it's all very basic of course, but in my opinion I'd rather have the outside looking very nice, which again is because of all the free items, uh, luckily. But if the house is big enough and looks good enough, then it is a bit easy to move in your sims, because then you can just decorate it through time and personalize it the way you want to. So I still think this works quite well as a starter home for eight stems, since all the rooms do have, I don't know, room for desks and pieces whenever you get to that point. Now with all that said, I think that's all I have to mention about the build because there isn't much more to mention about it. It's still, or it went still fast to decorate it and all that because it is a starter home. Again, if you want to download this build, you could find it under my username youngwanderfree on the galley or under the hashtag youngwanderfree. And always remember to have move objects on before placing any of my builds. Just to be sure nothing gets removed. <laughs> I do hope you still like this build and enjoy this video. We have already begun at the screenshots, unfortunately. So if you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of my creations, you can always subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram or Twitter. For now, thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Bye bye! a tree, I remember how it started. I was lost in a dream when the fire in my heart said, and open a rose.